All right, the move that we're gonna learn today looks just like this. There you have it. I know it is one more addition to the change grip around the head, a little new sequence, a little new finish that we've been doing. But this is getting a little more fun and actually building, going straight into actually building the drink. So let me do that one more time for you so we can see it in slow-mo. And then we go right into that pour into a drink. I'm gonna switch over to a practice bottle here and a dry tin. All right, uh, this is actually a practice bottle. So we have really, we're already comfortable with the change grip around the head. We're comfortable holding this tin in our hand. This is gonna be a slight variation though with the tin. Instead of just grabbing it and opening up our palm, what we're gonna be doing is grabbing it by the very top, if you can see right here, and I'm putting my thumb on one end and either my middle finger, which is what I'm comfortable with, although I know some people use their forefinger, use whatever works for you. What we wanna be able to do though is have it nice and loose like this and then hinge it nice uh, right up over the top like so. Um, so whether we start with that and either do the change grip around the head and then hinge the tin, or yeah, I think it's a little more fluid, a little more cool if we can do them both together. Uh, although I know sometimes if you've got your tin set up upside down on your rail, this just might be how you start, and that's fine too. But I do like to take a tin, I think it just adds a nice little extra element to it here. Adds a little more flourish, a little more flash, a little more flair, if you will. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead uh, and now put the pour spout into the tin. And I know in the past I've, uh, um, kind of emphasize, make sure that your pour spout is up so you're not spilling. We are actually gonna put it down because we are gonna start pouring. So we're gonna put it down into the tin. And really the key to this part and getting this comfortable, the part that some people struggle with is this roll down because you don't want it to slide all the way into the tin, get stuck in there, and you don't want it to fall over the back of your shoulder. It's really a matter of getting two fingers on the tin so that we're comfortable with this. I know we've done the hinge, but when I do that, I really latch on with that other finger. And then the other two fingers, my pinky and my ring finger here, are what grab onto the bottle. When I say grab on, it's really more of a loosely kind of guiding it. They're just there to kind of, not really gripping, but more of just kind of providing uh, a nice little guidance as it rolls down my arm. So let's go through that again one more time. We've got the change grip. I'm hinging the tin. We're gonna put our fingers in the right place here. If you can see what I'm doing with that, these two fingers here, these two fingers there. And we are gonna roll down the arm. Remember to step into it a little bit. Once we get to here, the new difference now is instead of popping up, grabbing that bottle, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull our hand away. And what I like to do is just let the momentum, the weight of that bottle is gonna cause some momentum to let you go ahead and just kind of, what I call the scoop, just this nice kind of fluid circular motion, scoop into a pour, and then from there you can get a little flashy and kind of add some nice kind of dimension here by lifting up the bottle, kind of getting a nice long pour, and then just twisting my wrist kind of letting my, my fingers hinge there, going into pour, even double pouring with both of those. Um, what I also have seen some people do is they get to here, they'll pull the wrist away and they'll just spin like this. If that works for you, great. Um, you're doing better than I am because uh, when I do that, if I'm at this point and I just turn and spin, I end up spraying and spilling everywhere. Uh, but that's my like, I've seen some of the people that do it and that's what works best for them. The scoop for them actually is a little more confusing. So do whatever works for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time here with a live bottle so you can see what we're working on. This is the change grip around the head, the arm roll down into a glass, nice little flourish like so. And then we are gonna go ahead and pour that into the drink. That is today's move. Good luck, practice, practice.